Hey, VC here. We are talking about the uh, time segment. This is a full time segment at the Hope Route. This was day two, and so uh, I'm going to show you the entire thing. Uh, I, I want to have a couple full segments from the Hope Route. And so the idea with this is that it's like a Fondo. You ride, you have fun, you enjoy it. But there are certain segments along the way that are timed. And that's how you would um, find out the winner. So you don't have to be with the front group. You can hit these time segments at any point. But we're going to talk about this one, which was super fun. Uh, because it actually had like three parts to it. It had the initial climb, the middle section, and the final climb. So this is the entire day's profile. And, but we're just going to be looking at this spot right here. And so the entire thing was 320 watts, 4.4 uh, watts per kilo for me. That was the entire segment. 37 minutes long for me, which uh, actually got me ninth overall out of the Strava ranking, which 15,000 other people have done. The fastest time was 35 minutes. Uh, probably the average time on this segment's around an hour and five. It's nine. 0.7 miles um, with 1300 feet of climbing but it's it's cool to see that yeah I had to do 320 watts for the entire thing but the first part of it you know, the 15 first 15 minutes I had to do 362 watts or 5 watts per kilo just to stay with the front group which was really important on this time segment um, because there is a middle section to this where it's kind of rolling and, uh, and and going downhill, so you want to be with the group during that point. Um, we averaged 23 miles per hour in the middle section, but there was really tight turns. So it was, you know, you'll see it because this is the full segment. Um, and then the final climb, which was amazing, beautiful climb, 379 watts, 5.29 watts per kilo, and I got dropped. <laughs> so uh, I got fourth overall um, on the climb, but the front three guys were just on another level. And I actually have not watched this. I'm, I'm going to talk over it for the first time as watching it. So I'm not, I don't have anything I prepared. I just sort of kind of remember how this went. Um, but, but yeah, man, settle in and it's about a 37 minute effort, uh, about a 40 minute video. Get on the trainer, watch it, check it out. Um, so we've got the power here, we've got gradient, and you know, during the Hope route, so it's a three day, uh, it's a three day event, stage one, stage two, and stage three, uh, stage one was 100 miles, stage two, this on this day was I think 97 miles, and then the final stage was a time trial around Angel Island. This took us up over Mount Tam, we got to ride across the Golden Gate Bridge, Super awesome, and, and like I said, in the Hope Route uh, profile, or how kind of how the event goes, is that there are, f uh, I think, four or five timed segments during each stage, and so you, I mean, you could start two hours late if you wanted to, and if you were Phil Guyman and you just wanted to smash these segments solo, I mean, you could win the event and never really even ride with the group at all. You could take all your time hanging out at the rest stops if you wanted, and as long as you smash these time segments, you're golden. But obviously, being with the group, being with the fastest guys, you know, I was always up at the front with uh, with the fastest guys. You know, they're dictating the pace, man, and, I, and I'm trying to just suck wheel. I I rode better than I have ever ridden in my entire life during this weekend. I surprised myself with many power records. Um, it was, I was so pleased, I was so pleased. And the thing is, a lot of Fondos, they don't often bring out um, a lot of the racers, right? It's just more guys that are just trying to have fun and just enjoy it. They're not really elite racers or anything like that. But dude, these guys are all <laughs> uh, legit Cat 1s. The, the top, I think, five guys were seriously legit racers and so you know um and then there was other strong guys too as well but man i mean it's not it's not just like a, a, a casual group ride i mean you've got roman and andrew from team mike spikes i mean that is a national ranked team dude they're like 
legit dudes here. So I am really trying to stay with them. And this first climb came after, I don't know, a couple miles after the uh, second rest stop. Uh, we went through a little town and I actually didn't see where they were, where the start was, because it's a timed section. So you roll through a timed start and a timed ending. Um, and so in this, I actually, it was super beneficial for me because I was way back. I was f way like in the group off the back. But so these guys in front of me started the time segment before I did, but now I'm still with them. So I actually, as of right now, overall in the time segment, I'm probably five seconds ahead of everyone. So if I finished with the group, if I finished just, you know, shoulder to shoulder with, with these guys, uh, I would actually technically win the segment uh, because I was I started a little bit later. Um, but I was close to not getting onto the front group because of how fast they started and how far back I was. Um, so uh, on this, I would say you probably want to, if you are going for the time segments, uh, be aware that this one comes right after the little town. You like take a right turn and it's on. Now the uh, gradient on this first of three sections isn't it's not super steep right so I am getting a ton of advantage by being in the group right here right I'm getting a lot of advantage by hanging out and sitting in because the draft is is pretty substantial but again I mean what I think I did 360 watts average for 15 minutes um, or something of that sort it was Dude, I mean, again, these guys are so fast. There, there's a guy, Jeff, who's on the front. Jeff is a chef. Jeff the chef. Uh, and, dude, he... I was talking to Phil Guyman about it because he rides with Phil a lot. And Phil was saying, dude, it, it takes a good climb for Phil to drop that dude. He is from SoCal, and he is fast. Uh, Rupert Cox, um, he, he won the, like, U23 division of this... Uh, this Fondo. He's in the black kit, Team California. Just like such a climber, right? Cat one. Dude is um, dude is super fast and super light. Uh, we've got Roman and Andrew in this group from Mike's Bikes. Um, Chris Phipps is in here, which he is a three-time national road race champion for the Masters division. Um, and then we've got my uh, my buddy from Texas. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram at just a bike racer. So he's the guy in white. Is more me and him were kind of battling throughout this whole time. You know the the time segments would very quickly break people up into you know where your fitness lied. And on most of the segments, I mean, if it was a shorter segment, we'd all finish together. But um, on this one and, and a few others, you know, there was just like two or three guys that just laid down the hammer, man. And so they would go and then um, me and that other guy I was just talking about, we would we would kind of ride together and we we're battling. I think he was up on me on time on the first day and I grabbed some time back on him on this day. And then the time trial was really close. I mean, it was uh, we were right there within just, a, I think. 30 seconds overall throughout all three days uh and so yeah well now we are we are hammering here as you can see i'm 430 watts i weigh 158 pounds so that gives you any sort of context right now we are i'm well in the six watts per kilo as of right now and jeff like i said dude that guy was just putting down the hammer um and and then andrew from mike spikes uh, I believe he's up the he's a little bit further up that dude was just so strong anyway kind of want to talk about how you know if you're gonna be doing this event or um, if you're with a group like this I I went so deep so deep uh, to stay with these guys and I kept just telling myself you know I don't care I don't care I don't care if my heart explodes I don't care if I pass out I mean I really set the bar at which failure was accepted um 
as, as far out as I possibly could. I also used my Wahoo Bolt to download the segment, um, not just the KOMs, but even the entire route profile. So, you know, as you can see on the screen, there's kind of this black profile and you can see the orange is what we've covered so far. Uh, I can see that, you know, on my Wahoo. Um, right now, I just have it on my lap just lapping it so I'm just looking at my average watts but I um, I know this segment pretty well I've looked at it a lot so I know that there is that we're gonna be able to get to the top and there'll be a little rolling section and that is just what I'm not thinking about the entire segment I'm not thinking about the finish at all I'm just thinking okay let's take this in bite-sized pieces let's let's get to the spot where we can descend and I'm not I'm not uh, a risky descender. I don't like descending because of the risk versus reward, right? Um, there's a lot of times that you have to risk a lot, it, risk your life sometimes. And that's not really what I'm trying to do here on this Fondo. I'm not trying to risk my life uh, for this, but I did take a few risks and, and being with the group, I'd be able to watch their lines and kind of just, hey, if, if you know, put my trust in them. Um, the climb is really beautiful. The weather, the weather, dude, was insane. It, there was several people that said the weather out here in San Francisco was, it, it's not common. It's not, not supposed to be this good. It, uh, it was, it was really, really good. It was warm, but not too hot and not foggy and i i've not done this road uh i have not ridden this road before i i think i've, I've ridden the second part or i don't know maybe i have done this I, I uh after san rafael once me and tony went up and rode this part of this climb anyways and so you know uh, I know a little bit about how it plays out and I know how pretty it is going to be. Um, and that's one thing that I kind of sort of, if I do this event again, if I do the Hot route, I don't know if I'm going to go for the time segments. I sort of feel as if I missed out on quite a bit of the, the enjoyment of the ride by just being in the Suffer cave for so long. There was, uh, I mean, every time segment, it was just full race place. I, on day one, Levi Leipheimer was there, so everyone was trying to, you know, measure peepees with him. Uh, but, dude, it was, it was, uh, it was good times. Um, so, where are we at? We're at six percent uh, gradient. Again, this, this is a fast climb. This is a very fast climb. Um, I'm not pacing at all. I'm just staying on wheels. I'm really keep uh, reciting to myself. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what happens. I don't care if my heart explodes. And uh, I, I believe I asked Jeff right around here, is this the top? You know, is the, are we about to hit the descent? And he was like, yeah. And so um, I, I think Rupert is just on the front drilling it right now. He was feeling super good all weekend and so I, we're starting to kind of taper off and i am i'm in the red right i'm really needing <laughs> a descent but it's not a it's not just a, a super tuck hangout on the back descent this is a very technical descent where you can super easily get cut off so that was the first segment right that's the first section and I might want to say that they should probably keep that just as a time segment. I had a lot of fun having this be the whole thing, being climbing downhill, climbing again. Uh, I loved it. Uh, it really added dynamics to to this because you know if you're just a climber, if you're a pure climber, I guess on the time segments you just destroy everyone. So it was kind of neat to have a section where if you're a better bike handler or a really good descender, that you could make up some of that time and again we are we are in company of some monsters I mean this is not these aren't just your local group ride guys like I said that is a four-time national road race champion in the masters division Chris Phipps right there um, Roman uh, he was on track to winning I think the 
the elite national crit championships and he dropped his chain um i mean dude there's these guys are are animals so i am cutting the, the turns here and before you yell at me about it i am really looking up the road i mean i'm not just staring at the wheel in front of me uh i'm looking as far up the road as i possibly can and if i am comfortable that i can see far enough up that no cars are coming I'm going to use a little bit more of the road uh, to because if I if I don't, I'm probably gonna get dropped from these guys. These these guys know these roads better than I do. Uh, they're they are beasts on the descending, and I keep playing in my mind, my face sliding across the gravel. And so I, you know, wasn't taking huge risks, and so I got to find where I could make up some time. Like you can see, I'm already kind of getting gapped. And so if I can take those little better apexes, and, and then this is sort of where I was like, oh, no, dude, this is not good. I'm, I'm, I'm getting dropped. So I had to slam down close to 800 watts, uh, a little effort to get back on, uh, which, you know, I'm doing 700 watts, four, four to 700 watts chasing, and most of those guys are not even pedaling. You can see right now I'm doing 500 watts, and they're not even pedaling. So... This is this section. If you're looking at the the overall um, time, like if you're really trying to go for it, th this is a make it or break it. And if you're with the front group, you're gonna go so much faster. You know, I think we did 37 minutes, uh, which the KOM is 35. But solo, if I had to do this solo, I, I would be 40 plus minutes easily, right? I mean, these guys, these guys were just lying and so that really helped me um, uh, put you know a really good time down on this there is was I think two little kickers inside of this sort of downhill section uh, but you can see that we're not we're not hammering and I think a few guys got back on so I don't know how many guys are behind us um, we dropped a lot on that first climb I might want to say there might be one other guy behind us. Uh, but so this is definitely the, the front end of the race, if you will. I mean, I know it's a, it's a Fondo. It's a race Fondo, right? So it definitely has a race aspect. And, and guys are, they're smashing. But, you know, it's not, it's not a full-on, like, a ton of Cat 1s out here. I mean, there's there are some. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I just love to play bikes. And you know that. So it doesn't matter if it wasn't even a race, right? Like, I, I want to play bikes. I want to ride hard. Uh, but there, again, the, the, the company that we are in here is top level stuff. And I'm super pumped that these guys are chilling a little bit. These guys are not taking it super hard right now. I mean, we have been going hard. And they're right there are a few riders that started earlier or they're they're ahead of us overall wise just on the road and so we're catching a few of those guys and man if you're not really that worried about the time segment you could like i could have rolled up the road climbed the first section a little bit slower than everyone um and been at my pace but then once they caught me could have jumped on the group and that's what a couple guys would do they'd try to jump into the group when they could but so now we're smashing down to the lake down to the dam and you can see here I'm cut, I cut in really tight so that as they start to accelerate out of here I, I'm on Chris's wheel you know I, I almost got dropped right a couple couple minutes ago so I don't want that to be the case and in my mind I am telling myself I'm gonna do whatever it takes to not get dropped it is I'm gonna take risks I'm gonna go hard and these guys just seem like man that descending this is no worries I don't know what they're thinking if they're just thinking nothing then maybe I'm not that great of a descender because so I was putting a lot of thought into this really trying to concentrate but then you can see that the environment you can see the road. The road's so beautiful. Like, look at this. This is a beautiful road. Such an amazing road just to go for a ride. But I am tongue in the spokes 
uh, staring at the back of the, the wheels right now to try to make sure that I stay with these guys. Because um, I don't know how much further the final climb is. I know the final climb is coming. I definitely know it's coming. But I don't know how how far it is for right now. And again, pacing-wise, I'm not pacing. <laughs> I'm not pacing at all because uh, I know that they're stronger than me. There's three guys in here that are 100% stronger than me. Jeff, uh, Andrew, and um, uh, Rupert. Those dudes are super fast. So I'm not trying to go to the front. I'm not trying to jam off the front because I just know that uh, it's going to take everything I have to just stay with them. And so pacing-wise, you know, I, I, I went as hard as I could for the first climb. I'm going as hard as I can on this descent. Ooh, right there. Uh, Roman came over on me a little bit. I don't know. I didn't know if he was getting dropped or not, but I couldn't lose that momentum. And if I had hit my brakes, you know, that had not been good. So I was like yelling at him, like, I'm on your right, I'm on your right, I'm on your right. It'd be kind of, by the time it registered in his brain, I mean, he was already almost shoving me off the road. Uh, but it's all good. So we are almost to the final pitch. And um, I don't know what else to say at this very moment. I'm running out of <laughs> running out of things to say. Uh, my my heart rate my heart rate is since taking spirulina has dropped almost 20 beats per minute overall on the whole the whole spectrum, which is strange. I don't I don't know why. I know other athletes that took the uh, SP2 flash frozen spirulina. The, the frozen raw spirulina that their heart rates have, have decreased as well usually my heart rate would be you know 200 beats per minute like 190 200 that's where it usually was I don't know spirulina is like seriously dropped my heart rate so I'm able to hold good power with a lower heart rate which is which is always awesome uh, we are cooking at 28 29 miles an hour I don't know what that is in kilometers an hour fast more and uh just just having a good time honestly i've recovered quite a bit from that first climb but i'm still just you know gripping the bars kind of tight having to sort of snap out of these turns you know this isn't this isn't just a um hang out on the back and and coast down this descent if i wasn't racing if we weren't going all out this would be such an amazing descent. I'd be having such a good time. Uh, so I'm sort of trying to take in this amazing canopy trees and how beautiful it is, but also pay attention to to the turns. There was a couple turns that, you know, man, they like right here, that one's not so aggressive, but I'm sort of dipping into the other lane uh, to then use an apex that kind of carries my momentum out so that I don't get gapped and don't have to put out so much power to get back on but still you can see my, my descending skills just nervous right just just kind of nervous sometimes i i have a very active imagination so i'm constantly thinking what the worst case scenario which is not good you know, it's you don't want to think about sliding your face across the pavement but that's just what keeps popping up in my head so um we are now just about to hit the last climb or the the third section here you have this beautiful lake to your left and we do slow down just a bit here kind of taking it in um i checked to see if my gopro still on and uh i think a lot of people on the strava would stop here i know the first time i ever did this i stopped here and, and kind of hung out and so then this next climb I want to say nine minutes is the KOM or something of like something that sort. Uh, I think I did 12 minutes, but so I, I was about to hit lap, but it's not because I want to hit lap once we hit the climb, once we officially hit the climb, so that I can try to pace my watts. Because I will now pace the third section. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just look at what I'm doing and make sure that if if they go too hard. You know, because, dude, I mean, having to do five watts per kilo for the first 15 minutes and then 
you know, I didn't, I think I averaged 200 watts for the middle section, but still it doesn't really tell the whole story because you're just so active with the descent. Boom, I hit the lap. And so now I'm gonna start kind of watching this. And this, this is, dude, we hit rail this turn. Watch, like we're going uphill, dude. And <laughs> you know, you're leaning it over. You're almost having to stop pedaling. Uh, Jeff and Rupert just light it up, dude. And I, Andrew goes with them, and I'm looking at my 400 watts, just thinking, and this is, dude, we rode 100 miles yesterday, like full gas for most of the time, you know what I mean? So I am, I'm tired, dude, I am, I'm pretty worked, and this is pretty far into this ride, and we've already done uh, two time segments. So this is the third time segment of the second day, so I think this is the seventh overall time segment. There's just, no, I had nothing. I had nothing for those front three guys. Rupert, Jeff, and Andrew were just on another level. Always, right? I mean, every climb, they were just on another level. And this climb is steep enough, you can see it's 9% that it really, they can put down the hammer and there's nothing I can do to stay with them. But I, I am so happy that I'm in company with Roman and Chris. You can see his bands, the national bands. Dude, that is so cool. That is so cool. I I am, and this sounds dumb, but I'm like starstruck, if you will, a little bit, right? Roman behind me uh, and, and, and Chris here with me. So I am really trying to sort of prove myself, right? These guys, we race with each other often. Well, I, I honestly, Chris and, and Roman are sort of on another league. They're they're cat one. So, uh, and and Chris races masters. So I don't often race with Chris, but Roman, if him and, and the Mike Spike squad are there, dude, they're just they're smashing me. So I am uh, really wanting to put down a good effort. I, I, I want I want to represent the the plant life well. And so right now I am, I'm digging so deep. I'm digging so deep. Uh, I keep telling myself, I just don't care. Um, I, I don't, I don't care what happens at this point. It's just like, dude, I am going to go as hard as I possibly can. Uh, and, and so 379 Watts is what I averaged for 12 minutes or so. My best, my best ever was 381 for 17 minutes. So, but that was, when I did that, that was fresh, that was tapered, that was, you know. So like pretty close to my best power, uh, right? I, it, four, 5.2 watts per kilo on this climb to stay with Chris. And I, I, I couldn't really ask for more. I mean, you know, so I just don't understand what I could do to stay with those front three guys. It's just not gonna happen. I think that for everyone else, not everyone else, but for a lot of the guys here at the Fondo, uh, at this in this segment, they probably went decently hard on the first, probably cruised the middle, and, and then just uh, it, he. I thought he waved me on right there, but he was actually just like shooting a snot rocket. So I go on, and this is a weird thing with 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 me, is that if someone is pulling. Okay, so Chris is on the front, he's going, even though I'm getting a draft, the suffer feels so much worse because I'm not in control of that suffer. I am, he's in control of the suffer. I can't really make it stop when I want and and he is the one divvying up that pain. When I'm on the front and when I'm leading, I'll be doing the same amount of watts or even more watts and feel significantly better and I just think it's the, it's the mental side of, you know, that I am in control of that pain. I'm the one spreading the pain. And so it's a little bit, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's how it is with anyone else, but I, I, if I can, right? If I'm feeling good, going to the front sometimes actually makes me feel better. Uh, and I do go to the front for quite a bit here in a, in a couple turns. Um, again, that's Roman. And so then the rest of the guys, everyone else got dropped 
because of how hard this climb started just you know 400 plus watts for the first little bit and so so yeah we've got i think there was three or four guys that made it over the descent down the descent with us so there was three there's three up the road us three right here and then i think there was three or four but as soon as we hit this climb they they sort of pulled pulled the plug on it and just sort of paced themselves up the road and uh and so the other guy was and I, I believe his name is scott i should have prepared that his name if his name's not scott i feel so bad because we were kind of homies during this i'm pretty sure it was scott uh, in the white uh, this is where i put time into him i put a ton of time because i think pretty much every other time segment scott was sort of my nemesis we were pretty close in fitness wise uh but he um, and that's at just just a bike racer on instagram but so he he put time into me even if it was a little bit of time a couple seconds i think on pretty much every segment um throughout the whole weekend but except for this one and this one i he sort of pulled the parachute pretty hard i think i put maybe a minute or two i really took back all the time and put enough time onto him where overall uh out of the whole weekend i got fifth overall and i think he got sixth so here i am on the front honestly really surprised that i am on the front that it, it, i'm being sort of driven by the fact that i've got a three-time national road race champion one-time time trial champion um, the dude snapped a pick right there. I want that pick. I think that was Craig's, Craig Slicks. Dude, Craig, where is that pick? I've not seen that, and I want it. And so Chris and Roman being behind me, the fact that I am leading this group. <laughs> Dude, I it's such a surreal experience. You know, I, man, I'm not an athlete, right? I'm not a great cyclist. I've never really been that good at... at um, at, at sports and for the last you know two years my my gains my power has really been pretty flat um it was decent but my ftp was just sort of stuck at uh 4.5 watts per kilo like like four to four and a half watts per kilo is just where my ftp was recently um i've made some changes to my program with intermittent fasting, uh, vol increase my volume, really stuck to structured programs. Uh, I've also incorporated spirulina, this fresh flash frozen spirulina, which, dude, I know it sounds like a gimmick. It sounds just like some supplement thing, but if you get the spirulina from SP2, which is, it's, it's a frozen raw, uh, it's very controlled, the bioavailability of all the nutrients in it, like the B12 and the protein and the iron, it has made all of the difference in my program. Uh, my training, like the training impact, my body is responding to it so much better than it ever has. I've always had, you know, I mean, being, being plant-based is great for recovery and all, but I sort of hit a plateau in which I would train hard and then I kind of have to take a lot of recovery or just wasn't able to respond to that training. But now with that spirulina, geez louise, man. It, um, it, I, I've, I've put, you know, 30 watts uh, on my 20 minute power. Um, my FTP right now is around 350, 345 to 355. And I weigh 158 pounds, 156, 158 pounds. So, I mean, I'm not trying to brag at all. What I'm trying to say is that, dude, I'm not a great cyclist. And so to have any sort of success, to be riding with the guys of this caliber, to be able to put out this power is insane to me. It is, it blows my mind. And it feels so good. It feels so good to be uh, able to kind of hang in there. And dude, when you're fit, the, the enjoyability of cycling goes up. Right? I'm enjoying this climb, even though we are full tilt suffer fest. Uh, I'm enjoying it because it doesn't hurt as bad as when you're trying to put out power and you just can't. You know, that kind of hurts you in the, it's like kicking the balls, right? 
So we are getting close to the finish. And I think I asked Chris, oh dude, Chris is attacking right now. Uh, Chris told me around what time the climb was, was ending. Um, I was trying to look at my time because I think he said that the KOM was was nine minutes or 10 minutes. And so you can see that I'm looking at my average watts, which right now it's 374 for 10 minutes, which tells me that I have a little more in the tank, but I am pretty borderline red, right? I, I don't have a whole lot more that I could do. Like I couldn't attack him and try to sustain some massive watts. I'm sort of at my limit, but you can see that in the profile graph here, we are getting close to the top. Uh, it, the whole climb, this final climb was pretty steep. I think seven, eight, nine percent is kind of just where you always were. And these little sharp hairpins, look, I, I dip hard to the inside, right? Um, obviously if there's traffic and, and, I, and I was thinking like, is this cheating? You know, is this, cause I took a, a significantly shorter line there but he sort of slingshotted around and then the time segment was a little bit sooner than, like it was a little bit before the actual Strava segment. And I don't know, I, I was feeling pretty good right now and so he's he ramps it up. Dude, we're doing you know 500 watts and I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna get him, dude. I'm gonna get him at the finish, um, but nah, should I? Should, should I? Cause he pulled a lot. And I was like, whatever, dude, whatever. I'm gonna snag it. Boom, I got it. Snagged him at the line, which was, which is insane. It's insane. And then, I, dude, three time, and I, I don't know how many times I said that. Three time national road race champion for the masters division. Like, come on, bro. So then we all hang out here. Jeff, Rupert, and Andrew, you can see them. Dude, those guys, unreal. I think went a good a minute and a half faster up that thing Whew. so anyway this was the th full segment for uh the third time segment on day two of the hope route san francisco i hope you enjoyed i really enjoyed this event it was a lot of fun i'd like to see more people come out next year and participate it was super good so guys i hope you enjoyed that uh more videos to come as always, vegan cyclists, you... Yeah.